Hello everyone, how are you doing today? Today we are announcing the AppRite Docs MCP server. Now this is different from the AppRite MCP server we already had. The AppRite MCP server allows your AI agents to access your AppRite projects. The AppRite Docs MCP server, however, allows your AI agents to access the AppRite documentation. Now you might be asking, why is this needed? Nowadays AI agents can do web search and everything. So why do you need an MCP server for documentation? You're absolutely right. They can do web search but they are pretty bad at it. They can skip the most important part of the documentation. And unless you tell them to just go through documentation, they won't. They will just hallucinate everything into your code base. So we decided to make an MCP server to act as a source of truth for all app related stuff in your code base. So let's see how it works. All right, so I'll leave a link to this in the description below, but you can simply just go ahead and follow the instructions to install this MCP server into your IDE of choice. My current favorite is Cloud Code. It's not an IDE, but it's a terminal that runs an AI agent. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy the command and I'm simply just gonna go into my terminal and paste this to add the MCP server. And now I am simply just gonna clear the terminal and use Claude to run Claude code. And now I can simply interact with that MCP server by prompting the AI agent. All right, so I'm gonna ask it a very, very simple question. I'm gonna ask it, tell me in detail how I can use Google login with Expo using app, right? So I'm just gonna hit enter and now it's gonna keep asking me for permissions to run some tool calls which are related to the MCP server that we just installed. So yeah, we got AppRite docs MCP, it's asking for permission. I'm just gonna go ahead and allow it. If you're using cursor, you might also be asked for permission. Make sure you go ahead and allow it. It might ask you multiple times because it wants to go through the documentation and get you results with a lot of details. So just go ahead and allow it. All right, so we now have the answer and it shows you all the steps you need to do, all the prerequisites, and everything code related. So let's check the code because a lot of the times these agents make mistake. So yeah, this one made it correct. Uh, we are supposed to use create what to token instead of create what to session, which is basically used in web SDK, but in react native, we use create what to token. And it has also covered deep linking pretty extensively. So yeah, if you use this while coding, you are going to get the most accurate app write related stuff through the app write docs MCP server. So yeah, that's it for this video. We hope that the app write docs MCP server is really useful for you and reduce is the number of errors that these AI agents cause while writing code. Let us know your thoughts about the docs MCP server and any other ideas you want us to create as video tutorials in the comments down below. So yeah, until next time.